chapter two. So your pressure is dropping. <gasps> Dad, wake up! I think a hurricane is coming! What is it, boy? Fire? Earthquake? Hippie? <gasps> hurricane! Somehow the animals are always the first to know. Mm. It's true, but he shouldn't say it. We better pick up some supplies. Stand behind the flaming garbage cans. We'll be letting you into the store 70 people at a time. Ah, Mom, let's just grab what we can and get out of here. This storm is making people crazy. The last pineapple! And plenty ripe, too! But I'm not fruit! I'm a kid! Well, need some help there? You know, maybe you folks should come over and hunker in our bunker. Would make it my business to be a third wheel. Oakley dokley. Ooh, I better go take down the manger scene. If baby Jesus got loose, he could really do some damage. Cube. Let's all work it together. Okay, start with diagonal colors. Use your main finger on the yellow side and your other finger on the orange side and turn it. Now I remember why I put this down here in the first place. It's dying down. All clear, everyone. Dad, no. This may just be the eye of the hurricane. Relax. <laughs> so if you could find it in your infinite wisdom Wait. To... Listen, everybody. The hurricane's over. It just goes to show you that everything will work out if you have faith. Rod? Rod? Todd? I'm right here, Daddy. Oh, Nettie, it was terrifying. I thought I was headed for the eternal bliss of paradise. I'm sure your insurance will cover the house. Oh, uh, well, no. Nettie doesn't believe in insurance. He considers it a form of gambling. You know, it's kind of funny. The only thing that survived the storm were the family tombstones. They're all we have left. <sighs> Nettie, I know this has been a terrible day, but by golly. Down here at Springfield Mall, a storm-addled crowd appears to have turned its rage on the leftorium. <laughs> Reverend Lovejoy, with all that's uh, happened to us today, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I kind of feel like Job. But, Reverend, I need to know, is God punishing me? Ooh. Uh, even in my darkest hour, I can turn to the good book for... Dang! Son of a gun diddly on! Those gilded edges smart. What more could I do? I, you know, I, I feel like I'm coming apart here. I want to yell out, but I, I just can't dang diddly do dang do damn diddly darn do it. I, I, I... Man, Maud, you've got to go back to your house. <gasps> oh, they rebuilt our house. Oh, it's a miracle. I started making some calls last night, and before I knew it, practically all of Springfield was offering to help. And a cement mixer full of hope and some cement. <gasps> It's wonderful. I, I, I don't know how I can possibly repay you, but if any of you ever need a favor, just look for the happiest man in Springfield. The living room and dining rooms with a lovely flow for entertaining. Uh-huh. And, ooh, looks like a loose nail. Eh, one out of 25 ain't bad. Lisa and I built your room, but I don't like this clown. Uh, I wouldn't take it down if I were you. It's a load-bearing poster. Now, this is the room with electricity. Oh, something is definitely wrong with this hallway. So, Flanders, what do you think of the house that love built? Oh, shoot. Gotta be nice, hostility, diddly, biddly, diddly. Oh, hell, diddly, ding, dong, crap! Can't you morons do anything right? <gasps> 
we meant well, and everyone here tried their best. I wouldn't want you to have a cow, man. Here's a catchphrase you better learn for your adult years. Hey, buddy, got a quarter? <gasps> I am shocked and appalled. <laughs> what do we have here? The long, flabby arm of the law? The last case you got to the bottom of was a case of Malamar! You ugly, hate-filled man. Hey, hey, I may be ugly and hate-filled, but I, um... Homer, you are the worst human being I have ever met. I'd like to commit myself. Very well. Shall I show you to your room, or would you prefer to be dragged off kicking and screaming? Ooh, kicking and screaming, please. As you wish. No! There's Dr. Foster here. Ned Flanders, you're sure? No, 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 I'll, I'll come right over. And may God have mercy on us all. Dr. Foster? Now, Ned, you may remember we spent some time together 30 years ago. Do you recall what you were like back then? Oh, sure, I was a good little boy. Were you? Now I'm prune face. Take that, Dick Tracy. Now I'm prune Tracy. Take that, Dick Tracy. Ned, stop it at once. Stop it. I can't believe I was such a terror. Hey, hey, get down from that bookshelf, please. Most of those books haven't been discredited yet. Would you please tell your son to stop? We can't do it, man. That's discipline. That's like telling Gene Krupa not to go boom, boom, ba, 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 boom, boom, ba. Yeah, you've got to help us, Doc. We've tried nothing, and we're all out of ideas. It was known as the University of Minnesota Spankological Protocol. The only problem with the treatment was that it worked too well. You became unable to express any anger at all. From that point on, any time you felt angry, you could only respond with a string of nonsensical jabbering. Watch it there. I'm here to help, you know. Now, I'd like to try something. Is there any person who makes you particularly angry? Yellow? Mr. Simpson, Dr. Foster, please come with me. You folks are free to roam the grounds. Uh, just remember, one of our patients is a cannibal. Try to guess which one. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. We want to teach Ned to release his anger in healthy doses. We need someone so irritating that Ned simply will not be able to repress his rage. Uh, Get in the booth. You also appear foolish in the eyes of others. <laughs> well, howdy, Homer. Ooh, thanks for dropping by. Hmm, he's not responding. Oh, that's it. You just can't insult this guy. You call him a moron, and he just sits there grinning moron at least. Hi, neighbor. You know what your problem is, Flanders? You're afraid to be human. Because humans are obnoxious sometimes. Humans hate things. See? You like everything. Mm, no, that's not true. I, I, I... I uh, then they've got those machines in the lobby. They're even faster. No help there. You might even say, I hate the post office. Hey, that felt good. <laughs> <laughs>